Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do a multiple block lino print and that's where you have a separate lino block for each colour of your lino. So in the following demo I'm going to show you a four colour uh, print or a four block print. Um, so carry on watching, enjoy and I really hope it makes sense. So I've got my four blocks of lino ready and I've made a drawing onto uh, tracing paper. I've actually used a China graph pencil to draw and this is going to transfer onto the lino over four blocks a lot better. So I'm making use of my corner registration and I've taped it down onto the table. I'm going to take one of the four blocks and put it into place and then flip my tracing paper over and line up where I want it to appear on the block. So about there and then I'm going to take this top edge onto the table. And then taking the biro, I'm just going to trace the image onto the first block. You can see that transfers really well. So I'm going to do that onto the first block and I can flip that back, remove that one, get the second block, place it into the registration, flip that down, trace that on there, Flip that up and do that on the two remaining blocks. So I'm going to do that now. So I've transferred the image on all four blocks and I've gone over with a Sharpie pen. Now before I start cutting for each colour, it's useful to try and work out how you want your picture to look like. So I've done a rough colour sketch of how I would like my print to look at the end. So you can see I've got four clear colours and it looks like I've got a fifth but that is where all four colours are going to be printing over each other to give you the impression of a fifth colour. Now you can, on separate bits of tracing paper, try and divide all your colours up so you can work out where to place them onto your blocks. So I've just done that now. So I've got the original tracing and then I just did a yellow layer over the top. So I've decided I want some of my spots to have more of an orange tone. So that's why I've brought the yellow into the plant. Then I've done a red layer. I don't know if you can see but where the red has gone over the yellow, it gives you more of an orange tone. And then I've done the green. So the dots will be taken out of the green layer. And then when that goes over the yellow and the red, it should have more of an orangey tone on this side and more of a red tone on that side. And then finally, my blue layer will maybe be at the bottom. And when that goes on top, And then more blue there over the three colour and that would give you the impression of a fifth colour. So I can use these as a guide to where I'm going to cut on my main block. 
So using my colour guides, I've worked out um, for each block what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to cut away. So I've used some watered down acrylic and I've painted in the areas that I'm going to cut away. So this will be my yellow layer. There's my red. There's my green. I'm going to add the dots later. And that's my blue one. Now you might find you want to do it the other way round, so you paint in the areas that you want to keep. So whichever way works for you. This just makes for me, I've always found it easier to paint in the areas I'm going to cut away. So I'm just going to let the acrylic dry and then I'm going to start carving. So I've cut out all of my four blocks. You can see with the blue one, rather than cutting out the entire top, I've just cut that away completely. Um, so I can use this bit of lino for something else later on. So now you can see I've marked down what colour each plate is going to be. So now I just need to ink up and start printing. So I've inked up the first two colours. I'm going to print the red first and then the yellow. For this method I'm going to be using the pin and tab registration which you can find out in a previous tutorial. So I'm going to put the red there. And start printing. I'm not going to take it off the tabs, I'm just going to lift up the paper, remove the red block and put the yellow one in its place. And continue printing. Change to the spoon for a bit more pressure. So you can see the first two colours are done. So I don't know if you can see there's a slight more orange tone where the yellow is printed over the red. So I now need to ink up my next two plates. So I've inked up the next two colours, a green and a blue. So I'm going to print the green layer next.
and then change the plate over. So there you go, all four colour printed. So here are the finished prints. Um, I've ended up printing three of them. Ideally, you want to let each layer dry before printing on top, but I've just printed wet ink onto wet. And actually, um, when it comes to the cactus, it's actually given a really nice um, textured effect, so that really doesn't bother me. And you can see where the yellow and the red layer underneath has given a bit of a shading tonal effect on the plant. You can also see I haven't managed to get it lined up that great, and that's where I've cut each plate separately. So. There's a bit of a gap between the yellow block and the blue one. That doesn't bother me too much, but it's one of those things, the more practice you do, the tighter your cutting will be, the tighter the blocks will join up will be. It's a practice makes perfect scenario. So, uh, have a go at this yourself. Let me know how you get on. And I'll see you next time. Bye.